By the end of the 19th century, the poets had completely abandoned the classical tradition. Now you, you can see that in 18, uh, 18th century <clears throat> and uh, up to 19th century too, people were following the classical tradition of uh, writing things. And what is classical tradition? Ye classical tradition is what? Classical tradition means that we are following classics as they have written it, 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 as they have written it. But now, slowly, we will go that we will become free from rules. We will be free from rules and romantic period. Ki taraf now, you can see the first writer here, Robert Burns. And his poems published, uh, uh, this is the title of his works, his poems. And this got published in 1786. And the Cotter's Saturday Night, Tom O'Shanter. This is also asked in several exams, so you should remember these all. William Blake, first publication, Poetical Sketches. So William Blake's first work was Poetical Sketches which got published in 1783 songs of innocence uh, this is important okay this 1789 now let me tell you 1790 uh, 1789 is also considered as the first point of romanticism kuch log mante hai ki 1789 jo hai wo romanticism ka first point hai jaisa ki uh, ek broad uh, hum keh sakte hain ki ek uh, Mana jata hai ki 1798 is the starting point of romanticism, which is uh, publication uh, year of lyrical ballads. But some people think that Songs of Innocence, this is and uh, Songs of Experience, these are the real starting point of romantic period. Why? Because these have uh, the characteristics of romantics. So we can call William Blake as a traditional poet as well. The book of uh, Thiel is published in 1790 and the French Revolution 1791. The Vision of the Daughters of Albion 1793 and america in 1793 again and europe 1794 and blake's songs of experience got published in 1794 again here in new school of poetry here are some notes i have written love for nature and they they incorporated such these things in their poetry ye sari cheeze hain jo aapko unki poetry mein dekhne ko milenge अगर आप देखेंगे कि liberty, fraternity and uh, equality and uh, fraternity ये आपके स्लोगन थे French Revolution के and they all were influenced by French Revolution liberty, equality and fraternity these slogans they made uh, you can say their motto of writing and lyricism you will find in their work the first book of Eurizin, uh, these are Bla William Blake's work, the first book of Eurizin in 19, uh, 1794 and the book of Ahenia in 95, the book of Loss and the Song of Loss in 95 he wrote and last work was Milton and Jerusalem. So this was his last work. He contributed in these two uh, two magazines, and later he also he also wrote Restless and Princess of Abyssinia, the fine edition of Shakespeare in six, 1765, and uh, he contributed in literary criticism also with his two works. First was the fine edition of uh, Shakespeare, and Later, he also wrote the, you can uh, see here, The Lives of the Poet, which got published in 1777 to 81 in between. And uh, in this work, he 
wrote about 52 poets and this is again a monumental work in literary criticism ye dono jo work the unhone contribute kiya literary criticism mein his another work is the his travel book was a journey to the western island of scotland now we can talk about oliver goldsmith oliver goldsmith contributed to the monthly uh, review you can see here let me take the another one okay so this was the monthly review by oliver goldsmith we just talked about uh, here the rambler the idler and the bee were periodicals of the time he also wrote some finest essays uh, which are uh, under the title the citizen of the world and his famous essays are on the english clergy and the popular preachers the public laser was his uh, another work historical prose of the times were written by edward gibbon and david hume so edward Edward Gibbon wrote History of the Decline and uh, Fall of the Roman Empire in 1776 uh let me scroll it okay and the last one is David Hume so David Hume wrote History of England History of England in six volumes and a uh, Treaty of Human Nature and the last one essays moral and politicals so hope uh, you like this video and you like the notes thank you for watching see you in next video good luck for your exams